Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Alexa Griffey and we do want to let you know Merida Memorial is opening its new pediatric unit in Belpre and we do have Chase Campbell there right now. But before we head over to him, we are going to check in with meteorologist Henry Groff who has the first look at our forecast. Henry, how is it outside? Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Alexa Griffey. We start the noon with breaking news. First responders are on the scene of a fire in Parkersburg. Our Chase Campbell has been on the scene since just before 11. Chase, what can you share with us? Good morning, Mid-Ohio Valley, and thank you for waking up with us this morning. I'm Alexa Griffey and Henry. I think we're outside here in Marietta for the yes. Real Festival today. It's a little different than the studio setting, but I have to say I'm kind of loving it. I kind of liking it too. So. Yeah. Good morning, Mid-Ohio Valley, and thank you for waking up with us. I'm Alexa Griffey. We're going to get you guys ready to start your Tuesday by heading over to meteorologist Henry Grove. Henry, it seems like a pretty soggy start to our morning. And it is an absolutely messy start <laughs> to our Tuesday, so going to have to deal with the rain. As and so you're only 16 and you get to travel all over like we just said. I'm sure it's a lot of training, a lot of preparing. How are you balancing everything from like school and your social life to this? That's right, Henry. You know, we've already talked about several events coming up this weekend, but we're not done yet. And if you've watched Wake Up and Daybreak at all recently, you'll know Henry and I have talked a lot about it starting to feel like fall. Thanks to those temperatures cooling a bit. One way to celebrate the change in the season is with the Fall Outdoor Youth Event. And here to talk more about that event is Randy Dornan. He is the MSSA's Board of Directors. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, ma'am. As we were just talking about with Henry Groff before the break, we are in the thick of the Christmas travel rush. 115 million Americans on the move, on the roads or in the air, the most since 2019. While the weather is mostly cooperating, especially here in the Mid-Ohio Valley, we do have some trouble spots out west. NBC's Tom Costello is watching the nation's skies from Reagan Washington National Airport. So we know that one common resolution that people tend to try to make is health related. So trying to go to the gym more, trying to lose weight, just trying to get healthy. So if someone's at home and they're wanting to make this type of resolution, what are some ways they can approach that? I always Thank you, Henry. And it's a big day at Marietta Memorial as it's opening its new pediatric unit in Belpre. They started construction last summer and opening ceremonies are set for two o'clock today. Officials held an open house for the media this morning and Chase Campbell was there where he joins us now. Chase, what did you get to see? And so this is like the honey that you end up taking off and exactly. using to, to eat or to uh -huh. do anything else? Oh, okay. Yep. Good morning, Mid-Ohio Valley, and thank you for joining us here on Daybreak. It's Friday, Henry. It's Friday, and it's a big day. It's a big day. Why is it a big day, Henry? I think because everybody's getting ready for the Stern Wheel Festival yes. taking place this weekend. So we're here at the Marietta Levee Wall, and you yeah. can see right behind us all so many boats. Stern wheels. So many. I honestly, Henry, was kind of surprised when I showed up to see that it's going even further beyond where the little wall blocks it off and it's going further this way. I'm just amazed at how many people be have been honest. here. Yes. I haven't been looking that way. And I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are so many more. I am so happy with the turnout. And I think there's going to be a lot yeah. of people showing up this weekend to enjoy all the different festivities. So it's, I think it's going to be great. Thank you, Henry. And we've been talking a lot about how it's the season of giving. And, you know, that doesn't just stop at Christmas. The Ark of the Mid Ohio Valley is holding a dance night. And I'm here with Michelle Curtis. She's the executive director of the Ark, and Doug Hess, who's the operating manager of the Ark. Thank you guys so much. For for coming on. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Yes, and so I'm sure a lot of people are curious. What is this dance night? Well, this is going to a government shutdown has been averted for now. Part of the temporary deal means we won't get a new farm bill until next September. Lawmakers voted to keep the current farm bill, which technically expired two months ago. That farm bill has been in place since 2018. We are back for the second half of our full steam ahead with Jill from Discovery World. We've been playing around with our glue and sand to come up yes. with our different shapes, but we wanted to show you guys one of the layers that we're going to be doing yeah. in case you wanted the visual of how much glue to sand and then Jill's going to share some fun science facts with us. So we are here. We 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 traced it once 
And then yeah. as we cover it, you were saying that we want to still see yes. the shape of yes. it. When you cover your next layer, um, and Thank you, Alexa. Back to you. Thank you, Chase. I bet it was super fun being able to see all of that. Thank you for that great reporting, and we'll see more of him in our evening newscast. Well, with the new year in full swing, many people have their list of resolutions ready, and some people may be thinking about giving up alcohol. Sadaf Nixad from our sister station WDTV spoke with the Clarksburg Mission about dry January and how it could change someone's life. And we have about 10 seconds left, and I know you brought your guitar for us. Would you like to kind of play us out to our next break? We'll have all the information about this collaboration in our online article, but this is a little teaser for you all out there. Yeah. And he is so sweet, and he loves a good pet and a good cuddle. Yes. We found that out backstage. And he's wearing one of your donated sweatshirts, yes, correct? Yes, absolutely. That's correct. Yes. He looks so handsome Doesn't in it. he, though? Yes. <laughs> and so how old is he? Pluto is two. Thank you so much, Henry. And the Mid-Ohio Valley is in for a special treat. The winner of a national talent competition is coming to town. Landau Eugene Murphy Jr. will be in town for a stop on his holiday concert tour. Unofficial results are in for Ohio's general election, but what do those results tell us about the state of politics in Ohio? Archie's Campbell talked about that question with a political scientist. A local art exhibit is giving our area's homeless youth a voice. The exhibit at the Parkersburg Art Center features the work of 12 different Parkersburg artists. A majority of them have experienced homelessness, and all of them have been involved with the Children's Home Society of West Virginia's Transitional Living Program. An overdose banner and PowerPoint are on display inside the lobby of Marietta Municipal Court. The banner on display at Marietta Municipal Court features photos of Washington County residents who lost their lives to drug overdose. He did tell me that golf does not have tricks, but he's going to show us some tips so that we could maybe be a little bit better, Henry. A little bit better. A little bit better. It can only go up from here. So you're going to show us first some putting, is that correct? Well, we're going to always emphasize wearing an orange hat because the last place you want to get shots in your head. In the head, that makes total sense. And is there places that people can buy these? Absolutely. Any one of your uh, hunting sport, sport stores, Walmart carries them usually this time of year, just about anywhere. And what about people who maybe live near woods and just go out walking their dogs or anything like that? Should they also be more cautious during this time period? Always a good good practice to put that orange on if that firearm season, and even if you're not hunting, because mm -hmm. if you're walking in the woods, you happen to wear the wrong color, right. they might identify you as wildlife. Okay. And one of the other things I wanted to touch on too is down here, and I know this is for a specific type of activity, right? Yes. In yes. the trees. Yes. Okay. If we'll move down here. We've got, I've got three different types of harnesses. Thank you so much. You know, for 47 years, the Sternwheelers have been lining up here in Marietta. And for about 42 of those years, we've had Captain Price here joining in on the fun, setting his sights for Marietta. And thank you so much for joining us, Captain Price. You're welcome.